LSUodyssey.com on the run cast, as we could, I guess, call it. How's it going, everybody? Um, well, there's no other way to say this, but <laughs> LSU's players are dropping like flies. Um, and it's not just, you know, depth and that. It's like every star player. If you've been paying attention to LSUodyssey.com in the last few days, last week, we've been saying there's been some rumble, rumbles and some rumors on Eli Ricks. Not really definitive in any direction, but just that he was not really feeling how the season was going. And there was a lot of times you didn't see him on the field, weirdly enough. Well, we have found out why, and it makes sense. Eli Ricks is out for the season. Shea Dixon broke the news, of course. See how easy that is when someone breaks the news? You can give them credit for it. It's pretty easy to do. And I have no problem doing it. Shea Dixon broke the news. Uh, Eli Ricks out for the 2021 campaign. His sophomore season will end with one interception. He's got five interceptions in his LSU career so far. He, you know, he he had his usual high caliber season. But there was a few, I think he only allowed like two or three catches. But on each one of those catches, you could see he was... He really wasn't a hundred percent, and you know you'd see Darren Evans be come, he'd come in there. Darren Evans had like a quarterback hit in the last game. I think it was against Kentucky. Maybe it was a game before that. But I was like, whoa! Why is Darren Evans in the game? Why is he blitzing the quarterback? This is weird. And I'm looking for Eli, and then I see Eli, and it's like okay. But then Eli is not out there again. So it was kind of. It's kind of interesting to me why Eli was being shuffled in and out. Well, apparently there's a surgery, an operation he needs to he needs to get, and I'm sh- sure it's on the shoulder again. And with LSU already at three and three, it appears rather than risk continue continuously injuring that problematic shoulder. Um, like he did last year, Eli is going to take the rest of the year off, get that surgery, and be 100% for 2022. Um, We have that pretty much confirmed, but until I hear that from uh, his mother, I'm not really going to confirm that from, you know, some internet rumors um, or a few... You know, well, well-established well sources, but still, I would like to hear that from his mother before I confirm that. Um, but yes, uh, so now you've got LSU have Derek Stingley Jr. and Eli Ricks, both starting corners, the two corner, the two, the top two cornerbacks in the nation, both out for the season. Andre Anthony, our leading sacker from last year, our second leading sacker on the team, starting defensive end, out for the season. Our best offensive weapon, you could argue the best player on the team this season, Kayshawn Butte, out for the rest of the season. Our backup quarterback and someone who could have competed for the starting quarterback position, Miles Brennan, out indefinitely with a broken humerus, suffered days before fall camp. It has taken Glenn Logan six games to get into the season, and he's still questionable for this weekend against Florida. Um, If you didn't, you know, I was saying there's an injury crisis at LSU back in September. People were calling me alarmist. People were calling me a nut job. People were saying... You know, you're doing this for clickbait. You're obsessed with the injuries. I'm just reporting the news. I'm just reporting what I'm hearing. And LSU are banged up as hell. And don't I look right? 
okay? LSU came into this season with way too many injuries before the season even started. You can't sustain that, especially when you're leaning on only a few guys. And then Kayshawn picked up an injury, I think it was in the first or second game, and it was like, so, okay, Kayshawn's ankle is going to be hobbling for most of the season now. And it turned out to be a, a serious issue because it knocked him out for the whole season. His ankle wore down, knocked him out for the season because we were leaning on him every damn play. Or at least we were for his route running. We should have been targeting the guy more. And then you got John Emery Jr. ineligible. Trey Bradford ineligible. Ali Gay with a broken hand, most likely. It looks like he re-broke his hand on that play. Absolutely smashes it against, or at least broke a finger. I'm just speculating, but it looks like... He already had huge issues with that hand, and he whacks it into a, a face mask. So you got both your starting defensive ends out. We still got B.J. Ojolari. We still got tons of depth at defensive end. I'm not horribly worried, but still, you've got four starters on the defense who could be All-Americans all out. Then you got Major Burns, a starting safety, who's also out. For the second straight week, you had Jay Ward out for three games due to a concussion from the UCLA game. And once Jay Ward just barely gets back, then Major Burns goes out. You're never having a healthy safety tandem. Both your starting corners are out. It's just, and your starting receiver, LSU are down to the bare bones. Right now, it's a proven ground for the freshmen and the fringe guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of talent on this team that is just untapped, unproven, and hasn't been given a chance. And accept this season for what it is. Get into watching the freshmen. Get in. Get to know someone like Philip Webb. He's going to be playing. Get to know Savion Jones. He's going to be playing. Get to know the depth of this squad like people like me who've researched every single one of these players. Desmond Little, he's had a few sacks on the season. Maybe he gets in there. Maybe some of the fringe linebackers will be able to get back in there. You know, another linebacker who's hurt, Josh White with a broken arm, you know. There's just injuries all over this team. It doesn't look... The prospects do, for... LSU to finish with a 500 season do not look good right now. But LSU is going to have to dig deep, and we're going to find out how deep this team really is. I think this team are going to be deep enough to pull off a few victories here. But it is looking really... It's looking like slim pickings, isn't it? Eli Ricks, Kayshawn Butte, Derek Stingley Jr., Andre Anthony... I mean, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Kayshawn Butte, it's just nuts. In the same week, we find out that Eli Ricks and Kayshawn Butte are both out for the season. I mean, can the news get worse around LSU? That's just what I'm asking. Can the news get worse? Oh, We thought this would be a crazy week for LSU, and it's turning out to be worse than we expected. But you know what? We have to kick Florida's ass. No excuses. Go Tigers.